Splinter said. Aid into the surroundings. Take it back, Mikey. You're not insane. Well, not completely. Check it out, guys! Big, dark, and scaly is living in our old lair! exactly where you said. Now I can complete my task for you, and then you can aid me in completing mine as per our deal. I am so glad I made your acquaintance. I don't mind telling you, I've had quite a lot of experience repairing these units. Child's play, really, once you understand the basic principles. Well, what do you know? It's just a big crocodile version of Dawn. It is finished, my friend. Why don't you take it for a test drive? He's got an exoskeleton. I can't really see, but I think... I think he's talking to an Utrom. An, an Utrom? <laughs> an intruder. Okay, time to go. Stop. Now, and if I remember right, there should be an access cover just about here. <laughs> Guys, are you there? Mikey, where the shell are you? What's happening? I'm in the 39th Street runoff. It got a little hairy back there with my reptile pal, but I think I lost him. I didn't mean you any harm. 
I am sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Accept the truce. All right, Mikey. But if this croc bites your head off, I don't want to hear any complaining. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Leatherhead. Leonardo. Raphael. Donatello. I'm Mikey. Come. It is so very drafty in these sewers. Let us return to my temporary laboratory where we can speak in relative comfort. Ah, there's no place like home. My sentiments, exactly. Whoa! You're building a transmat? You are familiar with the transmat? Then, you know of the Utroms. Actually, the Utroms and us go way back. Really? The Utroms are my family. It is a long story. It began when I was little more than a hatchling. I assumed that I began life as a mere exotic pet, which for some cruel human reason was cast into the sewer. Fortunately, I was discovered not by humans, but by the Utrons, who deemed me worthy of further observation. During the course of this observation, I was accidentally exposed to a mutagen the Utrons had created. The mutagen not only changed my physical form, but greatly accelerated my intellectual development. And when the Utrons realized that I had become sentient, they adopted me. I was happy living with the Utrons. They taught me much. Life was good until the humans discovered our base and tried to destroy us. My family barely escaped. left behind. But once I finish building this transmat, I will be able to rejoin my family once again. Ah, my friend has returned. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you my good friend. Leatherhead, my friend. Do you recall the traitors I told you about? It was these turtles who sabotaged the TCRI building. It was these turtles who destroyed the Transmat. It was they who caused the Utrams to leave. Them? Yes, yes, them, them! Baxter Stockman telling lies? Imagine that! <sighs> them? These green gnomes are why I had you build our little you-know-what. Doesn't look good! <laughs> is over. You're so right. I am done playing. I 
I'll be happy to finish you off personally. I can't count how many times you meddlesome freaks robbed me of my revenge when I was working for the Shredder. But this time, nothing will stop me. The Shredder? Huh? You work for the Shredder? He was the Ultron's most hated enemy. You weren't intending to help me with the Transmat. You used me. Very well. You pathetic freaks can all perish together. Believe me, I am doing evolution a big favor. If I do not have the Transmat, if I cannot be with the Ultrons, then life is meaningless. Leatherhead, please! Mikey, come on! Leave me! My friend. Michelangelo, move it! Fascinating. Your genetic mutation is virtually identical to that of the only other specimen I've been able to find. Other specimen? What you talking about, Willis? Weatherhead? <sighs> Years of research, and I've never seen a mutation like yours. Or that of your crocodilian friend over there. Oh, man! Weatherhead, can you hear me, buddy? My friend. I didn't think we'd ever see you again. The last time I saw you, our old lair caved in on you. Well, I am very thick-skinned, quite literally. Wake up, Raffy. Christmas came early this year. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> Let's take care of this guy and get out of here. We need to find the Fugitoid. Bishop, you want a genetic sample? Sample this! Anyone moves, and you can say goodbye to Michelangelo. <laughs> Let me go! Let me go! Uh, maybe not! Look! What the... To all the peoples of the planet Earth! Just how big is this creepy underground garage? It's gonna take forever to find the professor! Jeez, oh, what now? Allow me. Professor? Donatello, help me. Cover me, guys. was never meant to channel that kind of power. It burned out on him. He knew, Donnie. But he did it anyway. He was a true hero.
I guess we ought to say something. I don't know what to say. Professor, I... I guess mainly I just want to say thanks. You were a good friend. Now the red one. Careful, careful. Now the blue wire. Aha, good, it's working. Here, Leatherhead, wear this for a minute. Oh, uh, what? Mikey, what are you doing? Trying to get some TV reception. If you wait a minute, we'll have a whole new computerized communications array up and running. I don't want TV in a minute. I want it now. We are in the middle of a very delicate procedure here. So am I. Leatherhead, lean to the right. No, to the left. A little more. Wait, don't move. We got something. You. Ah, they were just getting to the best part. Smooth move, leather dork. Easy does it, Leatherhead. Don't listen to him. Mikey makes everybody crazy. It's his secret mutant power. Donatello, have Leonardo and Raphael returned from Miss O'Neill's? Not yet, Master Splinter. Leatherhead, check the dish alignment. Something's still wonky. Hey guys, did Raphael get back yet? I don't think Haven't so. Haven't seen him. Jeez, Raph, I always said you were slow, but come on. We spend all our lives building walls in order to keep us safe. But the walls do not work when the enemy is within. <gasps> when you are defenseless, the enemy shows himself. And he is a monster. No! Keep back! It is our fate that the thing we fear the most is the thing we carry deep within ourselves. I cannot tell you what welcome relief it is to be amongst friends. Master Splinter, your hospitality knows no bounds. You are welcome to live here with us, Leatherhead, as long as you wish. Leatherhead, could you help me practice my sparring? Hey, LH, can you help me out with this hydro compressor I'm working on? Crockman! Wrestle rematch, no holds barred. Big guy, the new issue of Justice Force versus Team Solaris just came out. I'll let you read it. As you can see, we all enjoy your company. Perhaps a little too much. <sighs> Master Splinter. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> just like a giant uh, croc in a china shop. That is not funny. I did not mean to break it. Whoa, Leatherhead, I was just joking. Everything is not a joke. I am not a joke. I am not a joke. Uh, is it me? Or did Leatherhead overreact just a little bit? Come on, we'd better see what we can do. L.H., I'm sorry, big guy. I didn't mean to. No, friend, I am sorry. My temper has become so much worse since the tortures I endured in Agent Bishop's laboratory. It's okay. I understand. You know, some guys think that I have a little problem keeping my cool. Yeah, you do, Raf. But man, Leatherhead was like a raging wolverine with a... Ow! I seem to have no control over it. Whatever Bishop did to me in his genetics laboratory, it is as though a part of me has separated from my mind. My animal side grows stronger. I am sorry. I do not know what to do. It's going to be okay, Leatherhead. We'll work through it. You'll see. Everything is gonna be just fine. Except for that teapot. Ow! Ow! What? Leatherhead, Leatherhead, you are a monster. 
me. I'm not safe. Not safe! I'm a monster! My friends take me in, and this is how I repay them. I'm a savage, a horrible monster. There can be no home for me. Michelangelo. How could I have hurt him? It's all too horrible. Too horrible. What have I become? You are a monster. A monster. Michelangelo! I... I'm a monster. I am a monster! <laughs> All right, ladies. Let's bag the beastie. Good. Whoever you are, I'm glad you found me. A monster such as myself deserves to be hunted and destroyed. Oblivion would be a welcome outcome to such a grotesque life. Do you hear that, girls? We are gonna be famous. We got ourselves a talking croc. And once we bag those other four creatures, we're gonna be superstars, I tell ya! Four other creatures? My friends? Hurt my friends? Hurt my friends? No, Betsy!
Careful. There is a hunter and he's... We know. Let's just get you out of here. We'll deal with him. Hey! Looks like the great white hunter up and skedaddled! Then let's get the shell out of here. Don't move! I finally got you! You lot heard Amelia. And Betsy here, she's going critical, she is. She's not gonna make it. And she's taken us all with her. She's just that type of girl. Personally, I don't really mind. That's the hunt. Sometimes you get the croc, sometimes the croc gets you. It's a shame, really. No one will know that with my last breath, I hunted down five of the most amazing animals I've ever seen. I don't see him. He gave his life to save ours. Actually, that statement would be in error, Donatello. <laughs> Let's go home, guys. No, I cannot. I simply will not risk staying with you. My temper, my anger. What if I can't control it? What if I had really hurt Michelangelo? Or worse? We'll help you. You'll learn how to control it, how to live with it. Yeah, you can do it. I mean, look at Mikey. He's learned to live with that face. I want to stay with you, but I cannot risk it. You know, I think I have the solution. Leatherhead, if you would do the honors. Follow me. Bonnie, where are we? It's an abandoned station from the 19th century. I found it on some archived blueprints I hacked off City Hall computers. It's beautiful. Here you'll be three minutes away from the lair. And it'll give you a little space to work things out. I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to thank us, Leatherhead. Yeah, us mutants gotta stick together. Family and all that. Yes, family. What is that noise? I can't think. It has to stop. Someone make it stop. They abducted him. I am sorry. I couldn't stop them. Luckily, the gas was non-lethal. Which means <gasps> whoever abducted your sensei wanted him alive. <sighs> Whoa! New threads, Professor Honeycutt? Yes. Though segments of my memory were purged, we recovered blueprints for my former Sal 1000 robot body. Although using Earth technology makes it seem rather homemade, I hope Master Splinter's all right. Well, at least we know who took him. Those were Bishop's flunky commandos. Now all we have to do is find them. But how? Wait a minute. We still have Bishop's subway car. At least half of it. Let's take this thing apart and find some answers. I can't seem to hack into this system. A lot of this seems to be Federation and Triceraton tech. As well as other alien technology that I am unable to classify. Your Agent Bishop certainly gets around for an Earthling. Wait, there. An automatic recall layered into the train car subcircuitry. Hmm, if we reactivate it. The recall signal should be triggered. 
And if we're on board, it'll take us right to Bishop's location. Access security is also still active. Team 2, what's your status? Don, ask the professor if a security camera wire will serve his purposes. Oh yes, that will do nicely. Link established. Give me a minute to hack the system. Gentlemen and lady, I am in. Constructed. It appears to lead from the Shredder's mansion all the way to the river. At least the coast is clear. I'm glad I brought you along, Leatherhead. Let's move. Guys, we're under the Shredder's mansion. And you know that really big thing that the Shredder is up to? I think I just found it. Team two, commence with Operation Lockdown. You heard him, Professor. Close Sesame. All right. Taking complete control of the internal systems. What? There's no way we're letting you get on that starship, Shredder! The two of you cannot stop me. Together, we will stop you! Step away from the master! Now! <laughs> well, 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 isn't this cozy? On my mark, destroy them all! Leatherhead? Fascinating. The tissue sample from Donatello's bandage contains that same alien DNA found in the strange mutated creatures you've been battling of late. You mean Don's been infected by the outbreak mutagen? Yes. In Donatello's case, it's triggered a secondary mutation in Donatello's already mutated DNA. What I can't understand is how this agent was introduced into Donatello's bloodstream. I think I know. 
That's it! Don got a nasty gash when we were fighting those mutated roaches, remember? I regret to say I... I... I cannot cure him. What? No! Man, I am gonna take Bishop and ram my foot so far! Easy, Raph. We'll find a cure. But first, we've got to capture Don, before he hurts himself, or anyone else. And just how are we gonna capture a 300-pound killer turtle? As you know, Donatello and I have been working together, developing ways to neutralize Bishop's mutant threat. We engineered this containment unit to incarcerate and study larger mutations. I made this with Donatello. I never imagined we would be using it on Donatello. Leo, it's April. The motion tracker is picking up an underground signal. It's the right size to be Donatello. And it's headed towards Central Park. It looks like he's making his way to your new home. <laughs> Don's headed for the lair. Come on. We're coming up on the lair. And Don is close, real close. Someone will need to lure him to us while we set up the containment unit. like to be a monster. Poor Donnie. What are we gonna do, Leo? Do? This is Donatello. This is our brother. We're going to hunt down a cure for him, no matter what it takes. No matter what it takes. fly through the night, I can't help but ponder. Intelligence, reason, even simple thought. Most people take these things for granted. I do not, for I know what it's like to be an advanced mind trapped in the body of a brute, of a monster. But for once, I am not the monster in question. Donatello is one of the gentlest souls I've ever met, with one of the finest minds I've ever known. But now, thanks to the evil agent Bishop, my friend has been transformed into a thoughtless savage, and I fear the Donatello I know may truly be lost forever. keep turning to ask Don what we're gonna do, to see what brilliant cure he's worked up to fix this. But then I remember, that is Don. I too wish to consult with Donatello regarding his condition. He did the majority of the work on the outbreak virus. Without him, I fear my progress is too slow. Donatello's condition grows worse by the minute. The outbreak strain is reacting violently with the Utrom mutagen in his blood. His cells are breaking down. It's only a matter of time before he is lost forever. That's not gonna happen. We can't let that happen. 
Every problem has a solution, every question an answer. Perhaps we are asking the wrong questions. Donatello told me this outbreak was artificial, that Agent Bishop created it. And if Bishop created it, maybe he can uncreate it. Bishop is a dangerous man, Leonardo. I know, but we may not have a choice. Relax. Let go. Let go, my son. That's right. resistant to the gas. I will have to work on stronger tranquilizers. I just wanted to give him some food. That settles it. We're going after Bishop. We'll make him help Don. And how exactly are we gonna find him? Last I checked, he wasn't listed in the Yellow Pages. I know where he is. Remember, he held me for weeks, torturing me. I vowed to catch up to him again someday and even the score. But the journey is long. I fear Donatello doesn't have that much time. Hmm. Maybe Donnie can help us with that. This is the last thing Don was working on before. Before. He completely overhauled Stockman's helicopter. It should get us where we need to go fast enough. Eep! Area 51! This can't be right. Maybe this isn't Bishop's base. Maybe we took a wrong turn at Albuquerque? This is where Bishop's base is located. But Area 51? All those crazy stories. It's... it's the heart of darkness! UFO Central! The nexus of weirdness! Then you'll fit right in. Weird or not, we're going in there. Straight infiltration. Raph, Mikey, and I get in and get Bishop. Master Splinter and Leatherhead will stay with Don just in case. Once we have Bishop, we'll convince him to help Don. Leatherhead and I can handle that portion of the plan. We can be very convincing. unit in a junkyard amateurs ready to sell for transfer doctor is this transfer necessary it is if you want more than his blood pressure and temperature now open that hunk of junk
Not this place. Not again. Donatello's body appears to be breaking down at a fantastic rate due to secondary stage mutations caused by the outbreak accelerant. He doesn't have much time. The animal was right. <sighs> Leonardo, this is wrong. We cannot leave Donatello's fate to these devils. Stockman cannot be trusted. And him, if you only knew what he was capable of. <sighs> Leatherhead's right, Leo. Bishop's the enemy! He's the one that caused the outbreak in the first place! Stockman created the genetic accelerant on my orders. What you call the outbreak virus is an unintended side effect of one of my operations. Do you have a cure? Yes. But as I said earlier, I need something from you. <sighs> Name it. A simple errand, really. There is an item I require. A relic that may prove crucial to my work. I want you to retrieve it for me. Retrieve it? From where? New York. In fact, I believe you know the woman who currently holds it. Her name is Karai. Donatello's condition continues to deteriorate. There's not much time. Dr. Stockman, Agent Bishop told us that you would administer the cure to Donatello. To think that I've sunk so low that my unparalleled genius would be used to save the life of one of these freaks. Unfathomable. Where is the cure, Stockman? I'm pulled from sweet oblivion. For what? This? Show us the cure now. Cure? You stupid animal. Agent Bishop lied. There is no cure. What? You inhuman, soulless monster! Leatherhead, please. I share your anger, but this will not help Donatello. We need solutions, not vengeance. You'd be wise to listen to your friend, animal. I've waited a long time to do this. Now you will know the meaning of pain. Dr. Stockman is working on a cure. He's the best chance Donatello has for survival. Harm me, and Stockman stops. And your friend has no chance. Fine. For now, villain. Dr. Stockman, show me what you have so far. Impressive, Mr. Leatherhead. And to think I was going to dissect you. What a waste that would have been. You're even more brilliant than Dr. Stockman. What?
trouble for me. <laughs> you okay, Leatherhead? Oh, yes. I'm fine, Angel. I just always cry at weddings. I wonder what's taking so long. I wonder where he could have been. Odds are of us getting through this. Statistically speaking, ah, dead. Great pleasure to pronounce you, Casey Jones.